My name is John Creera. I was born in 1957 in London. I came to South Wales in 1990 to do the course, documentary photography course, in Newport Art College. For that very reason, I think I was casting around for something that wasn't stereotypical, that didn't represent the stereotypical view of the valleys. So cinemas were the perfect answer. They were everywhere. They were in Newport, they were in Cardiff, they were up the valleys, they were in Swansea, they were in different stages of repair. They were the perfect answer in terms of subject matter for me. With this project, I think initially I was attracted by the architecture, but then people used to come up to me when I was taking the photographs and they would ask me what I was doing and I would explain quite clearly that I was taking a photograph of an old cinema. And suddenly they would realise that they used to go there. They'd ignored it for many, many years and it was below their notice. But suddenly, because I was photographing it, they started to notice it. And then all the memories started to flow. And it was quite obvious that, you know, that was just a very important part of the project. And not only should I uh, record uh, the buildings, but I should be recording people's memories as well. Uh, yeah, I started the project in about 1996. Uh, one of the first photographs that I took was during that period, and it was uh, the Risker Palace. And I used to drive past that every day to go to work up in Cross Keys. Then I started taking pictures in Newport, which uh, had one or two really nice cinemas. The fact is that everywhere I went, I started to notice that there were cinemas. It didn't matter where I went, whether it was Swansea or Cardiff or up the valley. Suddenly I was noticing cinemas everywhere. In the 2000s, and it was totally destroyed. But that was opened in about 1912, and it was an early cinema, very early cinema. Well, the reason I chose 5.4 was because of the detail. Because when you actually do the prints, you can see wonderful detail in the buildings, you know, even down to the last brick uh, and the little bits and pieces that they put on there as decoration, you know, really comes over quite beautifully when you use a large format camera. But also because of the uh, corrections that you can make on camera you've got the camera movements and that's quite important when you've got converging verticals and uh, that needs to be corrected. And also it slows you down quite a bit. Cock your shutter and away we go. When you're actually taking those pictures, you've got to consider the uh, framing, you've got to consider the composition. Uh, it's not something you do in five seconds or even 125th of a second. It's something that you do over a period of maybe an hour to an hour and a half taking one picture. So it gives you time to consider all those different variables. The cinemas are in all sorts of different states of repair. Some of them have obviously disappeared and been demolished, but a lot of them were derelict, but there were also some that had survived. After nearly 20 years, I was approached to put on the exhibition here at the Kick Plate Gallery here in Abertillery. And it was uh, a great honour to actually put the exhibition on because uh, the response has been tremendous. Uh, and uh, that interest has led to uh, the possibility of producing a book later in this year. I was actually approached by the uh, well-known photographer, Roger Tiley, who is involved with the 210 publication uh, project and uh, we're planning to put together a, a nice book by the end of November. How many, how many victims do you have a week? Don't worry, I've tripped on him plenty of times. Oh, that was a classic, that was. Classic. <laughs>